welcome everyone. So that song, that intro I played was off of a song called Nine to Five. It's track number one off my Midnight Drive CD, which was released on the Shrapnel label back in the 90s. So I played two parts basically, a rhythm part and more of a lead melody kind of part over it using sweeps and taps. So let me go over the rhythm part first. The rhythm part is based off of four chords um, an E13, a D major 7 with a sharp 11, an A, kind of a major 7, or this, right, and then a B minor 7. So those are the chords, or the sounds, the tonalities. But I wanted an in the intro to have more uh, upper inversion kind of form. So I didn't want to use the bass notes, right? I wanted to eliminate most of the bass notes and just limit those sounds to the D, G, B, and E string. So, and keep the voicings close together. I wanted to keep them as close together as possible and, and repeat as many notes as I, as I could, um, only adjusting the ones necessary. Um, to highlight the chord change. So for the first chord, I start here off E and arpeggiate it like this, which is E, A flat, and D. And then I go back to E, bring this D down to a D flat, and back to E again, sort of a little pedal tone there, and then end it on D. A flat. So that sounds like this. And then rather than, I didn't want to move around too many notes there, so I just brought the first finger down to a D and left the A flat alone because in a D major 7, the A flat is the sharp 11. So, so I went from D, A flat to A. Pedal back to D. I, I didn't pedal back to D actually. I went D, A flat, A, A flat again, and then jumped to F sharp. Then I pedaled back to D. So, slowly. And then ended it off with D to D flat, like this. and then brought the first finger down a half step to the C sharp, which is the third of A. Kept the A flat. I, didn't, I, I left that note in there because the A flat in A is an A major, uh, gives it the major seven sound, right? It's the major seven. So, and I went A flat to A, back to A flat, and then D flat. Pedal back to the C sharp. So we got. And then end it off with just A, A flat. So a lot of the notes, um, so I, I played a lot of the same notes in all three chord forms. And then ended it with a B minor seven, but more in this form right here. which is B, F sharp, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, and then B, A, like this. Okay, so slowly, the whole thing. Now for this part, a power chord, and then into this bluesy run, starting on C, hammering onto C sharp, E here, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, and then finally C half step bend. So let me play that slowly. Mm -hmm. 
little faster. Okay, and then the last part of it was based on third intervals. Okay, so the first third interval starts in A, and then we go to the third, the major third, C sharp, kind of spells out the A major sound. And then the same thing, a whole step lower of G and B. And then F sharp, A. And then finally, back to the A zone. So fast. Okay, and that's guitar part one. All right, time to look at guitar part number two, the arpeggiated sweep using taps. We're going to start on E with our pinky here on the 12th fret. Sweep, sweep up a major triad to the B. Now we're going to do a tap, a hammer first actually. We're going to hammer on to C sharp like that. And we tap here on the F sharp pull back off. Slide up to E. Sweep that little form, which is, and then hammer on, which is, a, this form is E, very much like the arpeggiated beginning that I showed you, E, A flat, and B. So, that is an E, tap the G sharp, pull off. Slide down to the D, tap the F sharp, pull off to the D. From that point, did you see what I did? Pull off to the A, tap the D, pull off to the A. Now I'm going to hammer on to F sharp, hammer on to the A. Alright, so that that much is so far we're at here. We're, we're at this piece. One more time. Slide down from the D to the D flat. And now we're going to use the A major arpeggio. Hammer on to E. Hammer on to A. Pull off to E. That's basically our A major sweep. This one starting on E. Right? That one. Based off that. But we're just pulling, we're just going down with it. From there. So we got. Oh, sorry. Sets us right up for the next part D. D. F sharp. A, B, sweep, hammer, tap on the E, pull off, get ready for the bend, we're going to tap the A here on the G string, but bend it up a whole step to the B, and then pull off the tap, and bend up from the E to the F sharp, like this. Alright, so there you have it. 9 to 5 from Midnight Drive. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If there's anything else you want to hear off that album, or my latest one, Jabberwacky, or maybe some Rogue Sonic, just leave it in the comments, or uh, send me an email, I'll try to get to it. Don't forget to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, practice hard, and keep shredding.